how's everybody doing today? So, why choose hypnotherapy? Good question. Unfortunately, hypnotherapy is not usually a first choice for someone to pick when trying to resolve an issue. Usually, it's somebody's last choice. It's somebody's last hope whenever nothing else works, whenever they don't get the results on any other therapies that they've tried. Usually, it's someone's last hope. I've had a lot of clients come to me and they say that they've tried everything. They've tried talk therapies, they've tried mindfulness techniques, counseling, among other things, and they just have not been getting the results that they needed, the, the relief that they need. And so I am their last hope. And that's actually really great. That's great. That's excellent. Because when somebody is at their wit's end, whenever they really want it, that's when hypnotherapy is most powerful. When someone really wants something, they can get and they will get the results that they're wanting, that they're looking for because they want it that bad. Actually, more you want it, the more powerful it'll be. For example, like if somebody like knows about hypnotherapy and they are, you know, have read every hypnotherapy hypnosis book in the world and they want a session on for an issue, but they really don't want it that bad. They just thought it'd be good and they have a session versus somebody that isn't too keen on hypnosis, but they want this bad. Like it's like this or nothing else in life. It's like this or, you know, they're doomed. They, that person that wants it more will have the more powerful results. People choose hypnotherapy whenever it's their last hope and they have nothing left to lose. And you know, lucky for me, that always brings super powerful results every time. Because as hypnotherapists, we know how the mind works. So we know that when someone's at their wit's end, that they will be open to anything, any therapy. So that is, you know, a blessing to us because we can deliver that for them. We can guide them to getting them the results that they want. It's kind of like going to the doctor for really high blood pressure and like you're like fixing to die, but you refuse to let the doctor take your blood pressure or do any of the diagnostics that he needs to do to help you get your results. It's kind of like that. Yeah, when someone's not open to it, it's really not going to be effective at all. That's all I have for today. I wanted to talk on that subject, and my nose is really shiny today. But yeah, love and light to you all.